guys, there's a giveaway? Holy crap, there's, this is a giveaway by King John. I wonder how this is going to go. Let's skip ahead. Let's see what we have to do. What, what do we win? Tell me, King John. What will we win? The giveaway is... A Nintendo DS Lite? Oh my god. I totally did not just break one of those in my YouTube video. Link in the description below. You know what? I will subscribe. Comment to win. Okay. I will comment. Let's see what I can comment, guys. This is complete cancer. Do I win? Did I win it? I think I won, guys. <laughs> can save us from the bronies and his name was ar small and weak hey what is up guys ar small here today we're doing a video on bronies now i know what you're probably thinking austin that is so last year i well i i kind of figured now picture this guys you just imagine yourself, you were a big fan of My Little Pony so when you were a kid, and then you grew up as a 50-year-old man and decided to pull out your raw mutton and decided to beat the Little Pony with it, okay? Now, how does that make you feel? Just picture that in your head, a 50-year-old man with My Little Pony posters, stickers, everything imaginable that you could collect and buy. Hell, even those little, little popsicle-looking things. And then, imagine this. You're playing Minecraft, the 50-year-old man joins your server, and all he does is build My Little Pony characters. Now, I know what you're thinking. Please, just end it. Just end it all. Okay, uh, you listen. Before you end yourself, just do one thing, though. Please leave a like on this video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no. So, the biggest thing I've noticed is there's a lot of weird fans out there. Don't believe me? We'll get right into that in a minute. Alright? Wait, what? Why are you guys still here? Huh? Wait, I'm a cyber bully for doing this. Well, shit. Hey, what is up, you guys? I totally did not just spend five hours doing absolutely nothing. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, guys, today we're getting on the brony problem, and the brony problem, if you don't know what it is, it's a huge problem, because every brony is getting what they need. They, you know, they get everything they want. Although, we can stop world hunger right now, or we could just deal with the brony problem, okay? People know who Psy is and wonder what the fox says. No. There are definitely obnoxious and pushy fans, but so what? If you could judge an entire fandom off the most annoying among them, sports and music would have been outlawed decades ago. However, don't be too quick to judge, though. If the pushy fan you're thinking of is someone you know, there may be more behind it than you think. My Little Pony has inspired not just bronies, but anti-bronies into unprecedented levels of activity. It's e you gotta love how they're like, uh, huh, huh, huh. my haters. I don't think about them, but the, the, this one, the, 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 you'll see why I'm stuttering in a minute. Easy to find violently hateful pictures, video rants, and even dedicated communities of anti-bronies. The Reddit anti-brony community, for instance, found out that 11-year-old fan Michael Morones was in critical condition after attempting to hang himself from his bunk bed. They laughed at his failure to do. Let's read the comments. I found this easy to beat off to? Well, yeah, I know, dude. You were probably a brony fan hiding in the brony hate community. Legit. Anyway, dude, if you get off to My Little Pony, good for you. Please, please stop bringing it into my face, though. I don't want to see that. It's worse than watching like a video and all of a sudden just pops out of nowhere. Alpha and the chipmunks start sucking each other. You get what I'm getting at, at this point. Do the job right the first time. In another instance, they raided a suicide support forum and banded together to push the bronies they found there to kill themselves. YouTube commenters relentlessly harassed one teen brony until he couldn't take the abuse anymore and threw himself in front of an oncoming train. In the face of such intense hate and harassment, who wouldn't become a little defensive? Okay, here, here's how you defend yourself. You go to the kitchen, you grab the toaster, you plug it in, you turn it on. Once it gets nice and hot, you run the bath water, drop it in, commit bathtub toaster, okay? That's how you solve this whole entire issue. So if you know a pushy brony, cut them a little slack. They're not tr No, because I can name a couple bronies right now. I'm just going to say their YouTube names. Wolfmaster was a brony, and so is David the Outcast. Okay, I'm not going to stress this enough how much I don't hate bronies, no, but dude... I can't go on PH without this crap being everywhere. Like, oh my god, guys. Just some chick, like, some chick's laying on a table, getting ready to get, like, get all open, and then all of a sudden she puts on a fucking My Little Pony costume. Ah, dude. 
Like, I, what's the difference between a, a furry and a brony? There isn't a difference. They're kind of the same thing. Trying to convert you, they just don't want you to judge or hate them for liking a TV show. If you give them no reason to think you're making a big deal out of it, they won't either. If by this point you're still concerned about bronies, it's probably because of something you read online or saw in the news. Don't buy it. Labeling and misrepresenting fandoms with headlines like rock and roll is devil music, trekkers are a cult, and anime fans are all creepy pedophiles is great business if you're trying to sell papers or push your agenda of hate. Luckily, it doesn't take much effort to knock down the extreme accusations I most often see. For example, a defining characteristic of people with autism is their Okay, listen, j when you're talking about autism, I should know this just from my own person my own personal problems. Listen, they're saying the sensory world of autism, and, and then they show this clip and try to relate to bronies. Listen, dude, I, I know this is a rant, and I shouldn't get personal with this, but motherfuckers will be like, oh, listen, bronies are not autistic like you think they are. They're not neckbeards. They're not autistic. I'm like, um, okay then. Difficulty in forming social groups and reluctance to attend loud and crowded public events. If that were even remotely common among bronies, then how's it possible there were more than 20... Also, if you, I mean, this is a little bit uh, off topic, but if you really wanted to get into that t subject, you would have to dig deeper, because there's such a thing as higher functioning autism. You do realize that, right? Like, he said that the bronies are not autistic. Am I, oh, okay. Three My Little Pony conventions in over seven different countries in 2014 alone. Some seeing attendance close to... Oh my god, dude. You could stop this. You could end the video right here, dude. You don't have to keep going, dude. You could save the world. You could end world hunger. 10,000 people. Likewise, what's the logical leap that takes to assume sexual intentions in an average brony? Of course there are some fans who accru- Yes, but it's the uh, accumulated amount, in a, like I said, literally, don't know if I said that right or not, but I, I dude, I just I'm tired of seeing hentai of it. Okay, we're skipping ahead. Then there's one of my favorites, the ever-popular Fat Neckbeards label. Any casual observation of brony- well, Okay, can you spot the Fat Neckbeard? <laughs> can, you, can you guys spot it? Oh look, there's one right here, right on the right corner. There's a dude with a fat neck beard. Dude, you can tell. Look at this. Gatherings easily proves the claim false. Not to mention that Brony research shows that one in five Bronies are women anyway. Oh my God! Please don't ever let those touch anywhere near me. Ah, uh, dude, I'm going to legit end myself. The bottom line is, Bronies aren't significantly different than any other fandom. If it weren't for people's sensitivities about gender roles, it's unlikely that anyone would pay any attention to bronies at all. But like fandom backlashes of the past... Okay, with that being said, guys, uh, this is complete cancer, okay, guys? And uh, if you're a brownie, then please do me a favor. Like, legit, you, you like what you like, but please stop sending me hentai of my little pony. Good God. Okay. Well, conclusion, guys. The definition of insanity is how I feel. They repeat the same thing, trying to get a different result with each series of a TV show. Like, legit, dude. Holy crap. Well, if you're like My Little Pony, then please just go out and uh, become a furry, I guess. That's my advice to you. If you liked today's video, it was very short. It was very uh, stupid. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. We all do honesty. And uh, subscribe to come part of the pack today. I will see you guys later.